Um, did you feel your game improved as the season went on? Yes. What were the biggest strides you felt you made? Took uh, 10 ish 10 games to get going. And then after that, uh, solid defensively, career high in hits per games. So that's, that's pretty cool. How did you, uh, looking back, was the adjustment from going from a, you know, a second defense pair to a largely a third defense pair? How did that kind of work out for you, do you think? I just go out there and try to help the team win. We didn't win. We didn't make the playoffs. But however I'm used, I go on the ice and I try to help the team win. Are you, are you confident that you guys will be back in a position to compete for the playoffs again next season? Or is there any concern that maybe this you know, could turn into more of a, a longer rebuild type situation? No, there's no rebuild. Uh, next year we'll be back and uh, we'll be competing for the playoffs and for a Stanley Cup. Why do you, why do you, why do you believe that? Because uh, when we, we were on a run there right before I got injured and we were beating the best teams in the league, we were playing to our system. And if we do that consistently more than we did this year, we did that more this year than we did last year. But uh, the, it's a quick turnaround this summer, so that'll be good as well. Um, guys will be able to skate more. We just finished. We're finished tomorrow, so... Three months from now, we'll be right back at it. How frustrating was that for you, having to miss those games, that those home games that are against L.A. and Anaheim that, looking back, kind of looked to be pretty pivotal for the season? Well, every game is important, obvious, but obviously that was. We were on a roll, and then we lost five in a row or whatever it was to teams where we should have beaten them. And, yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, every time we're not on the ice, it's disappointing, um, especially not playing. Uh, I just want to help this team win and win here in San Jose. All right. Thank you. Shang. Mark Edward, uh, thank you uh, for everything uh, you've done for us uh, this year. I uh, wanted to ask you first, just uh, how challenging has this year been for you personally, just in terms of, uh, you know, mental health? Uh, 2020 was the greatest year and then towards the end was the worst moment of my life. And uh, it's been tough losing two dogs. Uh, every day is tough, but it's nice to come to the rink and play hockey. And it's kind of an escape for me. So, um, but everybody's dealing with something, but uh, the hockey is a way for me to escape that. But um, I have a new, new dog. And I'm looking forward to seeing them very soon. And, uh, you know, uh, speaking of the, the hockey part of it, um, you know, we talked about, uh, uh, you know, Bob talked about how you, your, your play did get better as the season went on. Do you feel ready next season to take on, uh, take, take back, I guess, uh, your larger uh, customary shutdown role next year? Yeah, I'll be back doing that. And uh, we, uh, I don't think we, we, we've asked you this question. We've asked a few with other players. And, you know, Doug has talked about how uh, the team is in a reset mode. And uh, yourself, you know, uh, you're uh, going to be here for, for a while. Uh, how do you feel ab about that, you know, that, I guess, that term reset mode? Is that something that you want to be a part of? Yeah, well, he's used that term before a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know if it was a reset, but. Uh, Doug, Doug doesn't want to rebuild. Doug wants to be competitive every year. And when he's not competitive, just like us, he's disappointed and he's angry and he wants to, he wants to be a part of the playoffs and have a chance to win. And, uh, that's what I like. He wants to win every year and, um, we got to get back to the playoffs next year. And, uh, I think we will. And I guess the uh, last question, uh, when will you get a chance to uh, meet your, uh, your new, uh, new dog? Are you going right, right back? Uh, yeah, Thursday. I have a red eye tomorrow night after the game. Okay. All right, then. No, I'll see I them soon. I'll see them <laughs> soon. Not that quick, but soon enough. That's good. That's good. Okay. Thank you so much, Mark Edward. Have a good summer. Thank you. You too. Kevin. Hey, hey Mark Edward. Um, 
I, I don't even know the best way to ask this, but did, did, did that moment in, in, at the end of 2020, did, did that affect your, your, just your mentality and, 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 and coming into the season and maybe um, did it adversely affect the way you came into camp? No, no, okay. no, I don't think that affected my play. It would have affected much more than that. I wouldn't have wanted to play hockey at all. I wouldn't want to talk to anybody. Um, the hockey's kind of an escape. So, um, no, that there's nothing affects. It's just performance. Like you go out there and play. There's nothing for me. Maybe other guys affects them. Everybody's different, but for me, it's, Hockey's an escape. It just took 10, 12. I mean, you know, the, in a regular season, the teams that can start off the season in the first 20 games and put it together will have a head start on everybody else. And, mm -hmm. um, and we, we just didn't mesh right away. Some guys took longer to get going than others. Uh, 10, 12 games, and after that picked up, but you're, you're already falling behind. It seems, you know, even in some of the seasons where you guys had strong years, you know, starts have been a little bit shaky over the last little while. Does, does that something that collectively as a team, everyone has to just, you know, maybe rethink how they approach the off season in order to come into camp and, and the regular season ready to go from day one? Well, next year we'll have a longer training camp. We'll have exhibition games. So we'll be ready at the start. Thanks. Carl's busy. Oh, Kyle. Uh, we'll go back to Curtis. Martin, you, you just said, you I mean, you want to, you want to be here in San Jose. Do you envision any scenario where you would waive your no move? I'm here till the end. All right. Thank you very much. I've signed here for 20 years. So I'm going to be here for 20 years. <laughs> 20 I would have signed somewhere else if I didn't want to be here. Right. I want to win in San Jose. So I'm going Doug has never asked though, as far as waving. No, no. And uh, I I didn't know I had it till this year when everybody's bringing it up. I didn't know I had it, but I mean, it's, I have it. So, I mean, there's nothing, I have it. So there's nothing I can do about it. It's there. Right. Right. All right. Thank you again.